Excuse me, miss. Excuse me. Excuse me. What do you think about the soul truckers? The soul truckers are awesome. Excuse me? Hey, they're awesome! What do you think about the soul truckers, that hot new band? The soul truckers rock the free world. The what? You know, the soul truckers. Who in the devil are the soul truckers? I've had to arrest them two or three times for making bad music. I don't know anything about it. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Tell us a little bit about the origin of the Soul Truckers. How did Soul Truckers get started? Right at the end of my college career, I was in a band called Midnight White. We had a minor radio hit with a song called Santa Claus. And then everything just fell apart. I wanted to keep playing. I wanted to do something different. So I decided to start an alternative Southern Gospel band. I didn't have a band, although I was kind of informally jamming with Mac Powersight and B.H. Wood here in Macon. I remember Hawk back in the old days. He told me one day he wanted to start a band and call it Soul Truckers. Shortly after that, he made some promises to people about there being a band, even though there was no band. Somebody came to me and they said, you know, we've got a a concert in the park we want you to play. And he said, we have this band What's they're called name? the Soul Truckers What's her name? and they can fill that bill. Some people are leaders, Mr. Wilson, and some people are followers. I'm neither. And apparently he was hard pressed for a bass player and he gave me a call. There was a little bit, I guess, of deception employed early on. Was it a lie? Maybe. But the fact is, we, we delivered in the end. So Mac and B.H. Well, I play bass. And myself added uh, General Merle T. Nutticus as our drummer. I didn't really like him a whole lot, to tell you the truth. Always made fun of me back then. And we became the Soul Truckers. It sucks! We played our first gig down there in Mount Vernon in the midst of an oncoming thunderstorm. Supernatural intervention, maybe. I mean, the, the wind came through, the speakers fell over. Once the lights fell on us, it was like we were bonded. The only song that I could actually play, we finished, and, 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 and then that was it. I mean, there was, there was no more. An ominous beginning for a band, yes. We call ourselves the Soul Truckers, and we're an alternative Southern Gospel band. Hi there. They call me Big Hard Wood. Name. You got the general. No hog. This is my guitar buttercup. This is my piece of crap. Well, let's give it crap. It was in Mount Vernon, Georgia, on the Bruton Parker College campus, in a little chapel where the Soul Truckers first rocked the free world.
early on, uh, the uh, genre was uh, influenced greatly by the late J.B. Hawkins. J.B. Hawkins was kind of a mentor for me. I'm a disciple of Hawk. I uh, read his word daily, and uh, he has just so greatly changed my life that I'm willing to follow him to the corner of the earth. I wasn't really sure where he came from or what he did or who he was or any of the sort. He brought in several original songs. Um, one that I really liked all along was the Dairy Farm Girl. I always thought that was a neat song. right there. A lot of good music. Like the worst music of all times. It was the kind of stuff that great bands are made of and certainly the Soul Truckers uh, it marked their early era. When it came time to make our first album, the governor stepped in and, and made it happen. And we spent a lot of time hanging out at his mansion. You throw away all our 14 Garrett cold cups. No, I gave them to the neighbors for charity. Oh, okay. We didn't need them. Just use that star phone ones, okay? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. President, I know you're doing a good job. Say hey to Bill. All right, see you later, Hillary. Sure, I'm glad we bought some of this imported tea. Some good stuff. I'm running low. Where's the governor at? He's supposed to be here. right there! there. Ah! Is that the governor? The governor. That's a strange cat there. I don't know that anybody's ever really figured him out. Other than the fact that I'm tone deaf, I am pretty good at telling good musical talent, and the soul truckers certainly had it. You might say they touched the soul of the person. Uh, they touched the soul of the audience, and they, they just draw you closer to Jesus when you listen to their music. It's good spiritual music. Uh, they've got great musicians in the band. Soul truckers are outstanding. You need to buy the CD, you know, it's, it's the best. The first album was a demo. I mean, it was. It was rush released. We used what we had. You know, we took it to Funktown right then. It got us out there and it got us recognized. Every day I get up and I have a craving to hear the Soul Truckers. And I have to put their album in. Because it's number one on Billboard charts. And I put it in every morning while I'm getting ready. I listen to it and it brides my whole day. And if I don't listen to it before I get up and get going, I just don't have a good day. And when I go to bed at night, if I don't play it while I'm going to sleep, I can't sleep. It was a good effort. It was a... Uh, it sucked. We didn't have a real title for it, so we just called it The Soul Truckers. Overall, disappointing, but it had its highlights. It had sometimes, and, and the first version of Street Corner Woman. That's something. She's a strong-willed woman. She's a street survivor, she's a lady of the night, she's an energizer, you better watch it brother, she's bound to take control. If she gets you in the palm of her hand, she'll crush you so. first album was not a success, but with the governor on our side, the soul truckers were, and we would not be where we are today without the governor and what he did for the band. When he completely died until he comes back 
Right about the time the Soul Truckers got going, the Mount Vernon music scene just exploded. Kind of crazy in Mount Vernon at the time. There was a lot of a lot of new bands out. A lot of locals. The locals actually outnumbered the bands, but there were so many bands. A film crew came down and did a documentary. We were we were in that. I'm a teenage teen and I'm in my teens. I'm a teenage teen and I'm really mean. I'm a teenage teen and I'm quite obscene. You better watch out with your teenage teen. Ah, 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 ah. Ramble, ramble, ding dong. The interest has been uh, overwhelming from people uh, across the country. This gives them a, a meaningful experience in life. It's not a make-believe situation. It's for real. Some do try, and some find out they've got a talent for some things. Swing down, swing down. In this day and age, there seems to be a big trend toward non-involvement, and uh, in a place like this, it's pretty hard not to get involved. This wide world all over Now to another I go You can come in here, meet new friends, talk to old friends, and play cards, just sit around and talk, or just do absolutely nothing. Anybody can find something that they like in general. Got it. The variety of things that happen here between the folk music and the chamber concerts and the poetry readings is enough that it can fit into anybody's plan. They tend to attract a rather circumscribed clientele. There are a group of cool people on campus. If the sign which prophesies and the end which brings joy are separate, it is because somewhere we stopped listening to our heartbeat and started on the clock. Harry Truman, Truman, Cop, Cop, and Dewey, Chop Suey. It was, it was, it was different. Uh, I've never lived in a town like Mount Vernon. People doing different kind of stuff, experimental stuff, uh, not necessarily drugs or alcohol, but people were. Uh, experimenting with tobacco some as I spit and some other things and uh, which was dope there was it wasn't illegal at the time but it's illegal now and any record he said will forever be tainted we know he was taking soul pills I was taking the soul pills there was a need for somebody to bring a positive message to the people Hi, we're, we're the soul, soul truckers. truckers. Don't use drugs. Users are losers. And they're bad. It was modern. It was cool. And uh, so I, I naturally wanted to be a part of what they were doing. In, in Mount Vernon, if you go there today, everybody will give you a good word on the soul truckers. They're still good people. They still have good souls uh, in there somewhere, I'm sure. We are that town. Now. Now.